and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on week 40 of my 2023 Project Life album. For this week I am using my Ellie Edwards monthly kit and I'm using these um, older alpha stickers that I got from uh, Studio Calico. And since this uh, week's theme is a lot of like uh, fallish, so like orange pinky yellow kind of colors i thought this um orange color would go good along with this like burnt orange that i'm gonna use for the 40 those were older um stop the blur uh heidi swap stop the blur kit so i'm using my stash and guess what friends i am stamping again i'm using this like splatter uh ink splatter um set i found it on amazon i will try to link it um, but I'm using my Distressed Ink. And just to add some pops of color, I am doing some orange. And I really love how it came out. It um, added just enough pops of orange that I needed to, to fill in so it doesn't look so, like, empty. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I love how this card comes out. And I'm, I'm of course, going to add, like, a puffy. <laughs> um, so I do a star to kind of add those three colors in there. This uh, next photo here is just a, a shot of my uh, Hobonichi cousin journal with like all the stickers and everything spread out on my bed. Um, I was playing catch up in my Hobonichi. I have a love-hate relationship with it because since I have been laid off, I don't remember to keep up with it that often. <laughs> so it's been a mission, but um, I enjoy working in it this chipboard here i thought it would be nice to put that label first and then the chipboard piece but once it's down i don't like the way it looks you'll see so oh, sorry about that i got a tickle in my throat but um yeah so i will eventually move it all and that blue pen i'm using is chef's kiss i love it i have ordered some more off of um Amazon. I will try to remember to link those as well. Um, but here I just uh, wrote that I have uh, I was catching up in my Hobonichi cousin. Added a puppy. Called that one done. Here's a selfie. A selfie? <laughs> a selfie. And this new little uh, skeleton that I added to my collection. I think he's super cute. We have him like positioned around the house. We move him every so like many few days. Then here I'm looking through the labels. So on my photo, I put currently that um, die cut on the skeleton says the splendor of the season. Then that three by four card next to it says uh, the power of finding beauty in the numbest things makes home happy and life lovely. So I put that next to a photo uh, of our basket. We went thrift shop, thrift shopping, my son and I. So there's like... Um, You'll see some baseball stuff in there, crafting things, Disney, Golden Book. So I love how that one came out. The next two here is um, one photo of my son's football team after their game on Thursday. And I put capturing the magic of this moment. The next one is my um, snack box I found at Target in the bullseye section. Um, and it's an actual food safe container. So I filled it with some snacks um, over the weekend that it, for a game we had. Then I remember I need to add like a little arrow so you can see where my son is. It's kind of hard to see where he's at. But there he is peeking through. The next side here, um, it's going to have like a half of a flip on one side. If that makes sense, you'll see how it comes out. Um, but I cut a 4 by 6 white cardstock. I'm going to adhere my photo down that doesn't have a flip. And instead of using um, like white cardstock for the flip up, I'm actually just going to use the good old washi tape method. Um, it works for me. I'm okay with it. <laughs> um, so you'll see I adhered the back down. And then this here, I'm going to uh, place it the way I want it facing when you flip it up. Then I got like a thicker washi tape so it will hold it better um and you won't you won't see the washi tape anyways so i mean not that it really matters it matches the photos anyways 
Um, so then when you flip it up, uh, I will add a thinner washi in the inside to kind of hold that in. Um, but like I mentioned, you won't see this top one because I'm going to put the top piece over. And voila, it's magic. So then in the inside, I'm going to use um, a, another black and white kind of striped washi, uh, a thinner one. And um, that's what I will use to hold the inside in. If I ever need to fix it, I mean, I can always fix it. There's no problem. It's super easy to just add some adhesive underneath that if I need to, to keep the washi tape on there. And then I'm just going to trim off the edges because, you know, sometimes we cut kind of crooked. <laughs> um, but I add this chipper that says, always here for this. I love watching him play. So it's like my proudest mom moment, you know. So then I was going to add this phrase. And I remember, let's use some washi to layer it like Jenny does, um, uh, Jenny Garcia. So I added that same washi in the inside on the outside and says, here's the story. And it's like the breakdown of the game. The next one is a photo grid I did on photo, uh, photo grid, <laughs> the app photo grid. Um, and it's, uh, a car show we went to, it was called Rods and Rails. At the, um, and it was at our local train museum, which is literally like in our backyard practically. So I just chose a few shots that I liked from that one. The next photo here, um, are my three by fours in the middle row. So I'm going to pull those yellow alpha stickers out again and I'm going to add it on this plate of my like charcuterie board <laughs> of my lunch. Um, it's kind of hard to see the word yum, but I'm okay with it. I mean, I add a puffy sticker next to it of like a green chili <laughs> bell pepper. I don't know, but I thought that went perfect and added some washi at the bottom and I call that one done. The next one I work on is a picture of my mother-in-law. It was her birthday. She had her heavenly birthday. Um, she passed away in 2020. So um, every year I always add her photo in here and in my um, October daily. Um, the photo here that I'm pointing to is a photo of my shopping cart at Target. And I really didn't add much. I just added like one of these little arrow looking things and called that photo done and then my stand kind of fell <laughs> out of situated um but here I am looking for some word phrases to put under my son's photo and I didn't realize one says like loving this and enjoy this or something like this so then I put it back because I don't want this twice on there but it's my son and his um one of his like besties they used to go to school but uh they go to different middle schools now but they still hang out so uh, his we took his friend to watch him play at his baseball game that's right there in that photo and that's just a shot of um, the teams lining up in the be uh, beginning of the game to say the Pledge of Allegiance I just kind of cropped out the other team I added a label and then I decided to fishtail these uh, or this phrase here that says treasured October memories and then I placed that over the label with a little bit of room at the bottom to write game uh, game time and then it says verse evb dodgers i add a puffy call that one done and then the last photo is another grid that i created in photo grid and it was um, the top three are christmas photos the bottom are halloween um, from our visit to home depot i just thought it was kind of funny that they're both there at the same time but yeah here's a flip through of what i created Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll be seeing you very soon, friends. Bye.